higher or longer. That's, that's the mantra that's being repeated. Hey everybody, Jason Barlow here with Sell for 1%, and I'm joined by my dad, Dave Barlow, How my brother, Jamie Barlow, and Rich Sircone of Equitable Mortgage. We're here with a market update in under two minutes. Rich, you're on the clock. What is going on out there, dude? Hmm. Higher or longer. That's that's the mantra that's being repeated by the the uh, analysts at this point. Um, you know, we kind of got a curveball thrown at us last month when uh, earlier this month, I guess, for last month's employment numbers. Um, the uh, expectation was not that we were going to have such a strong jobs number, job creation number in January, but we did. And then followed that up with a very hot CPI number showing inflation is stronger than we thought. And then followed up again by a higher PPI number, CPI being consumer price index, PPI producer price index. Both of those show inflationary tendencies. They show prices rising higher than what uh, what was expected. All of this is leading to the fact that the Fed is saying, well, we've got to tamp down inflation and we can't make money cheap because people will buy more things. And so the bottom line to the folks out there is we're pushing back up in the 7% range on the 30-year fix. We're right at the baseline 7% right now. Uh, if the um, you know, if somebody has a perfect scenario that might be in the sixes still, or less than perfect scenario that might be up in the somewhere in the seven and a quarter or more range. So that is where mortgage rates are sitting right now. So the transitory inflation is proven to be a little bit stickier than they thought. I in my opinion, them I still think they're gonna cut make cut rates in June when they meet. And I I hope by then inflation is coming back down because if they just go ahead with rate cuts and inflation is still raging, it's going to get, I think, even more interesting here. So hopefully they do stay data dependent. The one thing, Rich, that I think is interesting is that Wall Street continues to be way off on the job predictions. You know, they predict 200,000 and then the administration comes forward and their statisticians say, well, we added 400,000. And then the Fed looks at that and says, oh, no, we, we can't reduce rates yet. I, I don't know if Wall Street is that bad at making predictions or if the White House administration is just that good at making the stats look how they need them to look. But it's it's very interesting. And it probably is wise just to slow down and then let it come to us and see what happens. Well, well one interesting thing is there's two numbers that that. that that report job creation. One of them is the the uh, FOMC, the the Labor Department, and the other one is something called a household survey. The household survey is showing less job creation than what the FOMC is showing. Yeah. So uh, there's a disparity there that can't be reconciled exactly. And I don't want to get into politics as to why. Uh, 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 there's probably some reasons. Yeah, some of the data that we on all the time is that month. Well, that's what dad always points out, how it's revised down a month or two later. And then I'm sitting here, as you know, the the chicken little, the sky is falling, watching the Fed make decisions on inaccurate information. I just find it all, I find it all amazing. But I think the Fed knows who butters their bread. They're not elected. They're appointed. And then they are approved through Congress. And so they're not going to turn around and say, well, it's federal spending causing it. So it, it's a very, very interesting. And you just kind of got to trust the science here that these guys know what they're doing all right oh thank you for uh watching guys (laughs) you can just go ahead and take it out you can (laughs) instead of giving me the hook i appreciate you guys watching (laughs) like subscribe leave comments any comments ask questions below be happy to jump in and answer them yep uh appreciate you guys watching if you have any questions about the market where things are going we are on the bleeding edge of this stuff Uh, You can give us a call. You can call Rich. You need any help, just let us know. Thanks, guys. Thank you.